Hi, this is Heath with BuildBox. In this video, we're going to look at menus and creating user interfaces. We'll look at world and user interface nodes in the menu editor, how to move and resize menu elements, creating new buttons for your interface, and how to connect it all together so your player can navigate your game. In the menu editor of this simple game, we see blue nodes and green nodes. The blue nodes denote worlds where we build our scenes that make up our game, and the green nodes denote menus where we design the user interfaces for your player. The green menu nodes would also be where we design navigation screens like a main menu, world select, a pause screen, a game over screen, a shop for in-app purchases, and of course, the main user interface your player will see while playing the game. Let's open the main menu of this game and take a look at the different user interface elements. In this simple menu, we see three main elements, a background image, a start button, and a title image. We can select each item in the tree or by clicking on the element itself. Simply click and drag to move any menu element around. You can also rotate and resize interface elements by clicking and dragging the handles. You can also edit the placement, rotation, and size of the element manually in the Options panel, where you can also change the opacity. Let's create an info button for our user where we might put the credits for our game. Simply drag a navigation button into the interface editor and name it Info. Now let's drag a graphic in for our button. Let's return to the menu editor. Now that we have an info button for our main menu, we need to create the info menu that button will lead us to. Right click and select Add New User Interface. Now it's simply a matter of connecting the info button on our main menu node to the info menu node. Let's edit the user interface in the info menu node. First, we will drag in a background to match our main menu. Next, we'll drag a text label in for our credits. Let's create a back button that will return us to the main menu. Simply drag a navigation button into the menu and drag the graphic into the image slot. Now we will set the function of the button to back. Back buttons return us to the previous menu. Let's see how our new menu works. Works perfectly. In review, we learned how to move, resize, and change other properties of user interface elements. We learned how to create a navigation button, how to create a new user interface, and how to connect the two. Finally, we learned how to create a back button so our player can navigate the game menus easily. Thank you for joining us. For more helpful videos, visit buildbox.com.